Hello once again witchy people. It is day 10 of the October YouTube Pagan Vlog Challenge. <laughs> Still got it written down. Uh, today's word is old. Now I would like to think that idealistically the old generation the older of us should be respected, revered, turned to for advice. The problem is there is, and I've said this before, I don't believe that your age, how old you are, has very much to do with your wisdom and your knowledge. You can be very, very young and know an awful lot and be very, very wise. And you could have aged a lot and become old and not learned anything. <laughs> so, when I think of the word old, I would like to think of knowledge and wisdom and teaching and learning but that's not the case. Now, referring back to many of us base our path, <coughs> our pagan path on what you might call the old ways. And I don't think really, do we? I mean, yes, we take a lot from the basis, the grains of our our paths, the basis of our paths are based on a much older way of thinking and of doing things. But we don't practice in an old way because we live in a modern world. And our practices have evolved. And you think even Wicca is, is quite a modern um, religion quite a modern path to follow even though it is based on much older beliefs and teachings so there was always I think maybe not so much now but certainly back 10 15 years ago maybe slightly more <laughs> uh, there was very much pressure put upon which is to claim that their path was one that was old. So if you were a traditional witch, a generational witch, where you know, and a heritage witch, if you like, where it was passed down, then it somehow seemed to validate you more, which was wrong. Because as I, as I said before, just because you may truly have some seriously old roots in your practice doesn't validate it or make it any more important than someone who follows a relatively new religion like Wicca, because Wicca in its basis now is, is relatively new. It's based on old old customs, old ways, but it is relatively new. That's really what I'm trying to say. But it doesn't make it any less important, or any less valid than something that's much older. Maybe we place too much stock in old. I mean, old is good, don't get me wrong. Speaking from you know the point of view of an old person, <laughs> old is good. <laughs> It has its advantages, but it doesn't make you wiser. It doesn't make you more clever. It doesn't make you more knowledgeable. It just makes you older. <laughs> uh, what makes you wiser, older, more knowledgeable, more able to teach is your ability to listen and learn. And that is something 
that you can do at any age. So as I said, much as I would like to think that old conjures up something very solid, something to be revered, it doesn't necessarily have to. It doesn't automatically, or it shouldn't automatically, mean that. But on the other hand, it shouldn't be dismissed either. Because there's a lot that the old ways can teach us. Old folklore, old superstitions, all of these things that are important to my path and how I lead my life, you know, they, they have that basis in fact, but they're not completely true, obviously. <laughs> so yes, we shouldn't dismiss old, but it certainly shouldn't be accepted as the better. There you go, that's my thoughts on old, from an old person, <laughs> from an old witch. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching witchy people. Uh, I will be back very soon. I'll be back sooner than expected. I am block vlogging, <coughs> uh, probably up to about day 15, I hope, uh, because I have a hospital appointment soon and I may not be able to talk for a couple of weeks afterwards. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so there we go. Everything's going to be fine though. <laughs> That's it. Old. Something that should be revered. But shouldn't necessarily automatically be accepted as being revered or wise. There we go. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you very much for watching, witchy people. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.